Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Hey everybody, it's me again, Nelson Buck. And today we're gonna to talk about cloud storage. Um, I was talking to one of our members last night and the topic came up of uh, synchronizing their browser with Chrome. And the first thing out of the person's mouth was, no, 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 I, I don't do that anymore. That, uh, it, it, uh, it, uh, it crashes on me. Oh my God, look at the dog fur. Oh, talking about dog, there's no dog here today. I, I sent Merlin away. I, I packed him up in the van at eight o'clock in the morning and I hauled him off to the groomer. So I won't see him till five or six tonight. What do you think about that, Jack? Hey, yeah. What do you say about that? Yeah, Merlin, you know, walking around the ground all the time. <laughs> Anyways, so Merlin will be back later. We'll we'll take a nice video of Merlin and uh, and what he looks like after the groomer. Uh, and uh, I'll I'll try to grab some footage where he was in the sh uh, the show with his fur and after. You'll see what I mean. It, it does not look like the same dog. Uh, so okay, cloud storage. Um, oh my. Black pants and dog fur. I just, oh my God, it must, it, it must pick up on, uh, anyways, look, old t-shirt, uh, old t-shirt and dog fur all over my pants, I mean, what can I say? Okay, so, um, cloud storage, real simple. Cut all that out. Let's turn this over again. Good God. Can we change dogs? I've got a very short hair chihuahua, Tina. There. I don't need that anymore. Cloud storage. Okay, so I was talking to a user last night and where I mentioned, you know, they, that person should sync their data up with uh, Google, uh, Google Chrome. And the response I got back was, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to use any cloud system because I don't want no information in the cloud. Um, that's a very three to five year old way of thinking. Um, cloud storage systems today are much more secure than they were three to five years ago. Um, and before I go further, what is the, the cloud? What is the cloud uh, storage? Uh, real simple. Uh, it, it's a place you can store or uh, put content, your information, in, onto another uh, server, a, a server elsewhere in the world, on another hard drive, where basically you're sharing the space. The word cloud is the same as shared hosting, if you wish. Um, in fact, some cloud systems are hosting services. So, uh, with that said, um, putting your data on a cloud or on a server elsewhere is not necessarily bad. You still got to be careful. You still got to protect yourself. You still got to use long passwords. Uh, make sure nobody accesses your passwords and don't put confidential information like your uh, bank account information, your tax information, um, the information, uh, your property deed, etc. Obviously, you don't want to put this kind of information on a cloud service where someone else can get access to it. Keep that private to yourself. In fact, keep that information on a separate hard drive that's not connected to your computer. In case your computer gets hacked, the information is off your, your local network, your, your accessible network. Um, printed copy is even better. So is it good to use cloud storage? Personally, I use Dropbox. Uh, and I use Google Drive. Google Drive I use because I use Gmail and a lot of the Google services. So I use Google Drive for that storage. Uh, I do have the Dropbox account and I, out of the two, I think Dropbox is the best. I, I've tested out about five services right now uh, in the past couple of years. And again, Dropbox is the best. I've not had any troubles, but uh, I mean, the, my, my password is like, uh, can't, I, I can't get big enough, you know, it's, it's huge. Uh, I also use two-part uh, security uh, login. I use uh, the highest level encryption they have. 
It's a little slower, but it's much better. Um, and let's face it, these companies are not interested in what you're uploading. Upload your, your website content, upload uh, uh, your hard drive, uh, st stuff that you would put on there, like one terabyte worth, in case your computer were to crash. Where's your data? Why do I use cloud services, cloud storage? Well, my computer did crash at one point, and it was as simple as reinstall the operating system. I, I don't have time to sit there and try to find out why it crashed. It's just, let's reinstall it. And then once I reinstalled, I downloaded Dropbox, I installed it, configured it, and then it started to download all my content, all my, my data uh, right away. And even while it was downloading, I still had access to it. So that's why I use it. If it crashes, I got content. Granted, on my computer, one terabyte uh, probably takes me about three, four days to download all that. So that's a, that's a, that's a long time to download. That's all the, all the content that Mardox, the videos, uh, everything. So um, you know what I'm talking about. Everything. So with that, uh, is cloud storage good? It's good. It's not necessarily the safest. I would not trust it to the world. I would not entrust my personal information, my personal content, but I do back up my entire computer. Now, there's something else that people do wrong with Dropbox and uh, Google Drive, uh, One, uh, OneDrive, all these cloud services. Does they install the software and they have on this side, they have their uh, computer's hard drive. And on this side, they have their Google or, or Dropbox folder. And then they take the files they want and they drop it into the folder of Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever. They drop the files over that side and that side synchronizes and backs it up. That's fine, it's a good way to go. But let's say for example, like in my case, I got nearly a terabyte of, uh, and that's a thousand gigs of content. Um, I got nearly that on, on my hard drive. Now, if I take that, that content and I were to copy it to a folder, in uh, uh, Dropbox or, or Google Drive or whatever service, I now need a terabyte for my, my current storage and I need a terabyte for the drive. So I need two terabytes or three actually. Uh, and then I, how do I keep track of what's here and here on, on both sides? Um, and I'm gonna put little icons just above my hands, computer and Dropbox, Google, little uh, cloud uh, symbol here. Now. Um, how do I keep track of this? Well, what I, what I do is I forget about trying to keep track of all this and I merge everything together. I use one folder on my hard drive. Essentially, you've got to start thinking that that one folder is your, your root. So where normally you would have C drive, uh, my documents, and then in there you would have my pictures. Instead of my documents, you would have C drive, Dropbox, my pictures, my music, my videos. When you edit my pictures, my uh, music, my videos, you change and move it around, it happens at Dropbox right away because you're doing everything in the Dropbox folder or the Google Drive folder, or whatever cloud folder it is, it does it in that folder right away. Instead of you having to figure out, I'm gonna copy files from one point to another, now, did I copy these, did, did I forget to copy them, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll do a, a video on a how-to uh, on how to use Dropbox properly so you don't use up double your space. And then there's a lot of people that say that the cloud services don't work, the computer crashed, they lost all their data anyways because they didn't copy it from point A to point B. So uh, yeah, really, I'll, I'll do a, I'll a how-to on how to use those services uh, efficiently um, and, uh, and properly you know, so that you don't lose your, your content or your data. Um, but so just to recap, just so we end off this, uh, the show, large passwords, uh, get the full account. Um, with that, uh, make sure not to put any personal information in, uh, one of those cloud services. Anything you think that could get hacked into, do not put that information up there, obviously. Um, so there's two videos that we're going to do, uh, like, I, like I said, we're going to do the, the, um, I'll do the, uh, the Dropbox one and then I'll do another video. Uh, probably sun, uh, Monday, uh, 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 Monday or Tuesday, we'll do these two videos. And the other one is passwords. Putting your dog's name and a number at the end is not a password. You need passwords. Um, and we'll, we'll show you how I go about creating passwords that are secure, uh, that are uncrackable, 
uh, with software and that you could even write down on a piece of paper, leave it laying around and nobody could use it, even though it's written out, you know, uh, Mary Sue, one, two, three, four, five, it's sitting there on the floor. Anybody could see it and they can't use it. So, uh, well, I'll get, I'll do a video on how to do those proper passwords. And, uh, I think yeah, that'll be cool. Um, Social networking at Mardox is 90% done. Go check it out when you log into your Mardox account at Mardox.com. Go to the members area, the little social tab at the top. Click on that and you'll see you can make posts, comment, and you see your posts from your upline, uh, people who, are, who brought you in. Uh, go check it out. All the system posts are there. Uh, my posts are there right off the bat because everybody signed up underneath me, obviously. Uh, so that's being done. If you have any suggestions, anything you want to add to the, have us add to the social network part of, uh, of our website, let me know. Um, with that said, I want to wish you guys a great day and have a good one. If you like the video you just watched, then I ask you to please subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Also, share this video with your friends. I upload to my channel almost every day. On the left, there's the most recent video I uploaded and our bloopers. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.